the brand new baggers worth it? The fairing, the headlight, I like that. I do not like sitting on the other side of it. Wanted to go a different direction. I kind of, I kind of saw that coming. Because if I gotta see another freaking 2024 Road Glide <laughs> from another influencer, and then everybody starts doing T bars and freaking two in the one exhaust, I'm gonna throw up. Hey, hey I'm doing T bars and two in one exhaust. On yeah, but you're doing on a low rider. Everybody's, every, everybody, all the content creators. To the video guys we're here with the coolest white guy no jerry jerry it's been a while yo it's like every time you yeah. come over it's like all the time it's been a while it's been a while yeah but all right so today's discussion we wanted to talk about if the brand new baggers are worth it kind of want to take you for example because you just recently bought the brand new 2024 street glide mm -hmm. and that beautiful white color by the way mm -hmm. but it looks amazing i thought you were gonna bring it today but he didn't um, I don't drive it to work. Yeah. So, um, kind of wanted to get my take on it and get your take on it as well because I've been on the bike. I spent, uh, you know, I put some miles on it. And you've obviously been an owner now, going from the old model to the new model. Mm -hmm. um, is the, are, are, well, not is, are the brand new baggers worth it? Are they pros and cons? Absolutely. It has to be worth it. Is it worth it to you? The viewers, not my my reasoning is different. The consumer. Your reasoning, yeah, your consumer. Well, yeah, the viewer. Like I said, my reasoning is different than your reasoning, mm -hmm. and and everybody's got different things. And then there's also you you buy stuff, and sometimes you regret it, sometimes you don't. Like you know, or you do stuff to your bike and you regret it. So there's some give and take. There's a lot of pros and there's a lot of cons. Okay, so let, let's. I could say uh, first of all. Let's start with design first. Mm -hmm. Kind of want to dive into that because I feel at first when these models were released a year ago, uh, it, it was it was kind of uh, a hit and miss for people. It was 50 50. It's either you liked it or you didn't. But now as the time is passing by, you can see, and I've, I've heard people that were like, ew, no, I don't like it, now kind of easing into the design because it's growing on them a little more, right? Some people just still don't like it. With that, I'd say from the beginning, I love the Street Glide redesign. Mm -hmm. That's why I bought a Street Glide, because I love the redesign of the Street Glide. Initially, when the Road Glide came out, I did not like it. Then I saw it in person, then I saw it again. I like the front, the fairing, the headlight. I like that. I do not like sitting on the other side of it, mm. the cockpit. Still I, don't like it? Still don't like it. Oh, okay. Still to this Fair. day, I don't like it. Fair. But I do like looking at the bike. Like I mean, if I'm looking at the bike from the front or the side. To be fair, you you you're also coming off a street glide, and you you love street glides, and and you're, I guess you're kind of used to just having that street glide infotainment right in front of you. Yeah. To be, well, I also had a 19. Uh, yeah. Road yeah, glide special, or whatever. Yeah. But you know, I I just don't like the cockpit. Yeah, that's fair. That's fine. Maybe if it was painted. Or like a color match? It's that's fair. I I've always said it from the beginning. It should have been gloss. Yeah, <laughs> it, it looks them. cheap. I don't like the matte color, the my, matte finish. You need the eye. My street glide doesn't look. It I don't really mind it except for the speaker covers. Like mm. if I don't do anything, I'm changing the speaker covers because like they look so cheap. They do. They look really cheap. They do look a little. Ugh. Yeah. Yeah. But okay. I I don't like the cockpit on the road glide at all. Okay. So and I don't like those. Remember we used to lift them? I don't like to push and then they come up. Like people were breaking those things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, so, I mean, is it fair to say that for for somewhat a uh, big percentage of the people that the new design are, are growing on them now? Absolutely. Yeah? yeah. Do, do you see more people who maybe weren't into them? Do you see them get into the design now? Or? Yeah, like when I went to, to Torque the other day, last weekend, and couple of the guys looked at the bike or whatever and they're like oh I really like the color everything and then when Duffy was like I don't I never liked the street glide because I felt he goes mm -hmm. can I sit on your bike and he sat on my bike and he's like I actually like this yeah, yeah. he goes this is not bad he goes the other one I felt like it was yeah. on top of you yeah oh, good so okay. he, you know so everybody's like it's growing on and then somebody else said the same thing it's growing on them. yeah 
So design-wise, guys, for those of you who don't know yet, um, LED all around, uh, front and rear for the bikes. Uh, it looks amazing. Yeah. They light up great at nighttime as well. Mm -hmm. um, more power in the engine, right? Absolutely. What do you got, the 117 on there? 117, very 117, smooth. 117, very, 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 very smooth, mm -hmm. right? We've got the upper um, heads that are cooled now, liquid cooled, water, water cooled, however you want to call it. Um, infotainment, you got that digital gauge. Well, Love well that. that. That digital screen, I'm sorry, that thing is amazing. Mm -hmm. And you have sport mode, so a lot of, a ton of stuff, ton of stuff packed into the new bikes. I haven't even put my bike in sport mode yet. Not yet. No, rain mode, because the day I bought it, I had to ride it home in the pouring yeah. rain. And I've been in road mode ever since, and yeah. I haven't put enough, I, I, I could, but I'm still taking it easy because I want to break it in yeah. nice and easy. So I just wanted to just give those little tips real quick before we dive more into deeper into the conversation of how these bikes differ. So those are the, the major changes to them, obviously. Now, what are some things that you're really happy about on the new bike? Let's go with the pros. And then if you have any cons, you have any cons? Yeah. As an owner, then we'll get into the cons then. So let's start with yeah. the good stuff. Love the design. Love the infotainment set. Mm -hmm. Love that. 12.3 inch yeah. screen. And I just got the jumper, so I could. I, I got Apple CarPlay, and it's awesome. So, Is it the one from, from Mike? From Mike. All right, so we, we're actually going to be doing a video on that. I know I did a previous video with, with, uh, with Rich with uh, how to get Apple CarPlay, but now this is a simpler version of that. Oh, yeah. uh, and we're, I'm going to be doing a video that's going to be very detailed as well, more detailed than the last one. Um, but it's, it's actually simpler on how you get Apple CarPlay now on your, uh, on your new baggers. Yeah. Okay, so that. That. Um, like I said, I like the design. The, ta the tank's wider, but it's, it's still not bad. Comfort wise. So the same you think or uh, the C, I'm changing out the C. Right, but when it comes to suspension. So the pros or the con, you just kind of feel like it's the same. I'll say this. Not a difference. I traded my bike in, I just put a brand new fully adjustable legend suspension and a, and a, a, the cartridge is in the front. Like a week two weeks before I traded my bike in. On your 18th street glide. On my 18th street glide. And it was a lot better than stock. In the new current stock? No. Okay. The new stock feels the same. I don't really feel any difference as the Legends or whatever, but then Mike was saying, unless you get a fully adjustable Olin's front and rear, you're not going to notice the so difference. So here's the thing. You're, right off the bat, the new bike is more comfortable when it comes to suspension For me. Than, than the outgoing bike, right? Yes. But you could still make it even better by changing out the front. Yes. Because the, the front... Eh, it's not really the front, it's the rear, because my wife is not comfortable. Really? That's why I'm changing the seat, and if that doesn't work, I'm going to have to change the rear suspension. Hmm. Have you tried adjusting it to your weight? I think it's adjusted to my weight. I don't know if it's adjusted with her on Right, that. so if you're going to put her on, yeah. you can well, adjust I'm going to put the seat on, and then I'm going to check yeah. the settings, and then I'm going to redo it. So, so you said that basically the new one stock is the same comfort equivalent to your 18 that had the old uh, the legends. legends yeah i mean that's pretty good you can see yeah, yeah. okay good. i don't have a complaint with the front okay you don't the front feels a lot better than my old one the front feels a little better i'll say that the front is not way better compared to my 18 yeah i don't know if they change it when you're 21 mm -hmm. my, mm, yeah i think they revalved them yeah I, I think if i was to get a new one i right off the bat i would change the front suspension yeah because the back feels great to me it feels fine Mm -hmm. I would just do the front. Well, you're a lot front. lighter, and you don't you're not running a passenger. Yeah. So, um, I mean, the seat is a lot better than the old stock one, but it's not better it's than... Still it's still a stock seat. It's still a stock seat. It's still a stock man. Yeah. Regardless. Yeah. Um, okay. So, more comfort. You like the lighting, LEDs. I like the lighting. I right. like, I'm even the getting, I even kind of like the controls. I'm getting used to it. It's different. Some controls, yeah. Yeah, but I kind of really like it a lot. You, even, even you... Do you feel comfortable having the, the volume? I like on it on the, the right. You like it on the right? Yeah. Dude, I hate it on the right. See? Well, you know the problem I have is when I try to increase the volume, I'm on the throttle. Th that's, so that, that's my thing. Yeah. So it's, it's, it's a little weird when if... Or if I'm you, trying to crank it, yeah, all of a sudden I'm taking off. Yeah, yeah. You know? <laughs> or, or if you want to adjust it, you got to take your hand off the throttle. Yes. Yeah, yeah, It's yeah. weird. It's, it's, it's that I don't like. That. I don't. I just don't like that change. I think they. I think they need to rearrange that again. I mean, you know. 
If they put the joystick on the left, I probably would have done better. Yeah. But I never used the one on the right. So all those basically your con, your pros. I mean, pretty much you could say. The engine, like I said, very smooth. Mm -hmm. Got the. I don't. I don't think I'm gonna do anything to the bike. Okay. Fair. Okay. I might do slip-ons. That's it. Okay. So you said you had some cons. What? What are? What are those cons then? The seat. Uh huh. Um. The rear suspension for my passenger. It's kind of okay with me on it it's not she didn't like it she definitely did not like the seating and the suspension at all okay i put a sissy bar on it for us to make it better but this guy's first time filming here i know um so and then what else um the windshield looks great Lot of doesn't buffering. do shit. Yeah, a lot of buffering. <laughs> doesn't do, and I'm playing with the thing, and I'm trying to get to like, I gotta get a new windshield. A lot, like, a, a, but I kind of like it for around town, but the highway. Oh, it it looks nice, yeah. yeah. Yeah, but you, you know, you get a taller windshield if you want to do yeah, it. Yeah, you know. on that, I usually. Are you because you you mentioned you're going to America? Yeah. Are you riding up there? Or? Yes. Okay, so yeah, I would definitely try to get a windshield before that. <laughs> yeah, I don't think it's gonna happen because I keep looking. Clockworks doesn't have anything. Nobody yeah. has anything. Only Harley, and I don't want a Harley. Oh, street class, I forgot. Yeah. Huh. Oh yeah. If it was a road guy, I would have one already. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. They're still working. I, I'm on the mailing list. I'm on the waiting list. I'm yeah, on yeah, whatever. Yeah. I'm like, you know. Any other cons then? The way you made it sound was like, oh, I got a lot of cons. I'm trying to think. Like, we, oh, I don't like the wheels. The design of the wheels? No. The. The, the two tone the, color. The, two, the, the bare metal. Yeah, yeah. You don't. Do not like that. Like once I get tires. I was going to do it right away during the, during the winter. I was going to rip them off, and I'm like, why am I going to do that? I'll wait till I need tires. When I get when I need tires, those wheels are coming off and get powder coated black. Mm, I like that. I'm going to keep the wheels. That was good. All black. But I'm going to put them all black, but I'm not going to waste. Like, if somebody else said to me, why waste money on because you got brand new tires? Why would you rip them right, off, right, powder right, right. coat it? Yeah, just wait. Put them, just wait when you need tires. Yeah, right, right. So Good. Um... I mean, it's a, overall, I think it's a great bike. I think that that's, that's oh, yeah. all your cons. Absolutely, yeah. I mean, that's, like I said, that's... It's a great bike, man. Because you have to do very minimal compared to the old the, the The new models, guys, if, if, if you are the type of person, type of consumer, type of rider, who just wants a bike to just get on the road... And ride. Yeah. And ride, you're that's good. It. Yeah. You're good. Just, just get a tall windshield on it. Yeah. But, but you're good. There's nothing really that you drastically you need to change as opposed to the older bikes all the bikes you know yeah you want more power you want this you want to change that out of course but the, the newer bikes i think they come pretty yeah ready I mean, re ready I mean, to go I man mean, somebody your size that doesn't ride anybody you never ride a passenger they're perfect right out of the, the gate right me i have different circumstances i ride a passenger i'm, I'm a lot taller and, and everybody thought that i was i was gonna get a I was gonna get a, uh, another road glide. I was so happy you didn't. I Why? was ecstatic. Why? When you, call, when you sent me this, and I was like, thank God. Because if I got to see another freaking 2024 road glide <laughs> from another influencer, and then everybody starts doing T bars and freaking two in the one exhaust, I'm gonna throw up. Hey, hey, I'm doing T bars on a two in one exhaust. I'm yeah, but you're doing it on a low rider. Everybody's, every, everybody, all the content creators got. <laughs> 2024 road glides it's like overload puke yeah i i, I kind of wanted to go a different direction i, I kind of i'm glad you did I, and i, I love i kind of i kind of i kind of saw that coming and everybody was going to swap out their bikes and get a new roll at a street light and i'm like yes i want one but you know what i kind of want to head a different direction yeah that's you why I, I mean that's why i bought a street glide too i didn't want a roll i mean i was this close about that close not not this close but about that close to getting a road glide yeah. st you know that yeah you know, and I was gonna trade in all three bikes and then get that, but then I was like, eh, no. Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm very, very happy with my purchase, man. I'm, yeah. I'm more, more than happy. And not to say that that I don't want a road, the new road glide. I, I, I if, if I could have a second bike right now, I would, and that probably would be it. It would be a road glide. Yeah. Um, but at the moment, honestly, I'm, I'm happy I went with this. It's a different direction from what everybody else out there is doing. Exactly. And, um, I just had unfinished business with the roll. Uh, I know that ladder. too because you kept saying it. Yeah. But this is so much better than your old one. Oh yeah, I mean, it's a, it's a, no it's offense a, to your old one. You no, loved it, but this is this is nice. This is like the no, best bike you've ever had. Yeah, yeah. 
I mean, I've had 65 motorcycles. It's like, you know, but yeah. the, the two I have now are actually the best bikes I've ever had. Though. Yeah. It's, uh, I'm honestly the best bike. I think it's my favorite bike I've ever had. Yeah. It's my favorite bike for sure. Um, 2024 Rogue Glide, Street Glide, what do you guys think? Do you like it? Are, are you still hating it? Are you one of those people that you're just not into it? And that's cool, man. If you guys are still into the outgoing models, that's awesome. A lot of people are still working on them. There's a ton of parts out there for them still, you know? Yeah, what I gotta say is, if you ride one, you might love it or you might hate it. But you also gotta remember what you, what you most likely you're gonna love. You're gonna most likely you're gonna love it. But if you if, if you're going if somebody who's like I think it's great for somebody who's going into buying a bagger. If you're moving up from one of these bikes to a bagger, yeah. Now it's the perfect time. Yeah. Now if you're somebody who already has a bagger and you did a ton of shit to it, you might say, oh, I got a better suspension. I got a cam. I got you know a better this, better that, and I'm happy with my bike. If you're happy with your bike, that's great. Yeah. My bike was seven years old. I kind of felt like it was a change. Like every, like I used to lease cars, and every three years I'd get a new car. So I kind of that's what I wanted to do. There was nothing wrong with my bike. I had plenty of, you know, I, everything was done to it. I didn't. I just, you know, I just felt like it was time to switch to something else. Plus, I wanted the new entertainment, the infotainment center, mm -hmm. and all that stuff. But if if you're happy with your bike and and you ride the new one and you don't feel the need to jump, then don't jump. I yeah. Mean, well, well, we'll leave it like this. The oh, the outgoing models are great bikes. I, I love my Rogue Glide. You love your Street Glide. Is the new model a way better bike all around? 100%. Mm -hmm. 100%. And if you have not yet written one, I would highly suggest for you to go to your local dealership, throw a leg over it, and you you might end up coming with one. On that note, it's National Test Drive Weekend at Harley from tomorrow till Sunday if you test drive a bike this video might be up Sunday right but yeah we'll if you this week. weekend whatever you you get it you test but drive the it. demo trucks are going all around yes you know so I can't wait for the demo take trucks. advantage guys at the rallies the rallies going on America right now has them, yeah. um so go to the rallies test them out go to dealerships test them out you will not be disappointed we'll leave it at that Thank you so much for watching today. If you're new to my channel, make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Hit that bell button as it will notify you anytime I upload any type of new content. We're going to be doing more follow-up videos with this and Jerry Street Clyde. Uh, I have a few ideas of, uh, of things we want to do. And if you guys have any questions about the bike, mm -hmm. drop them down below. We'll be uh, more than happy to follow along with yeah, that. Yeah, read all the comments too. Yeah, <laughs> yeah he, he reads the comments. <laughs> all of them. Thank you guys. Yeah. Like always, let the force be with you. Ride safe. Gonna enjoy the ride, baby. Peace. That was good, man. Yeah, I thought we were gonna go more into like, you know, like decisions.